This is Fox 25 Sports. First full weekend of college football was officially underway today. Now, Oklahoma State picked up their first win of the season Thursday night in a high scoring contest against Central Michigan, but today it was all about the Sooners. Norman was the place to be this afternoon as Brent Venables welcomed, welcomed in fans for his first game in charge of the ninth ranked Sooners. There's always high expectations on the Sooners, even with all the new changes to the team this year, but they didn't disappoint in week one. Dylan Gabriel started the game with a 12 yard rushing touchdown, followed up by this nice 35 yard run by Eric Gray. The following drive then, Gabriel following it up uh, later in the drive here with his first touchdown pass for the Sooners. A little floater over the top to Braden Willis for the two touchdown lead. Less than three minutes later, Sooners with a second and one and true freshman Gavin Freeman gets it with the end around, breaks a tackle right there and decides that he wants more and makes a great effort to take it to the house for the 46 yard score. And that was all just in the first quarter. Now it wasn't just the offense. New uh, uh, defensive coordinator Todd Bates, uh, he was showing out pretty well today too. Great pass coverage in the secondary, really helped to hold up those wideouts, helped to then lead to back-to-back -to -back sacks for the Sooners. And there's definitely going to be some growing pains with this club, especially to start out the season at least. But overall, the Sooners offense looked very balanced with over 200 passing and rushing yards, and their defense snuffed out UTEP's attempts to move the ball with six sacks and 10 QB hurries. Sooner fans can go to bed happy tonight as the Brent Venables era kicks off with the 45 to 13 win. Now to a top 15 cross conference matchup from earlier this afternoon down in Atlanta. The 11th ranked Oregon Ducks come to town to take on the defending national champs in Georgia. The Bulldogs starting their 2022 23 campaign right where they left off last year. Lad McConkey with the jet sweep around the left end side to put Georgia on the board. Solid offense from the Bulldogs combined with stout defense is the bread and butter for Kirby Smart's team. Georgia picking off Oregon's transfer from Auburn, Bo Nix right there. And it was pretty much all Georgia in this one, folks, with a commanding win over Oregon, 49-3. And ESPN's College Game Day, they, however, chose to attend the biggest game of the night between two powerhouse top five teams in Notre Dame and Ohio State. And the horseshoe, man, it was rocking in Columbus for this one tonight. After a Notre Dame field goal, Ohio State responded quickly. C.J. Stroud hitting Emeka Egbuka on the out route before he turned it upfield and dove toward the pylon for the 7-3 lead. And uh, definitely never an easy thing for uh, someone like me, a Nittany Lion alum, uh, to watch the Buckeyes celebrating in the end zone. And unfortunately, there was going to be more of it coming in just a bit. But second quarter here now, Notre Dame working it down to the goal line and whoop, full back up and over the top to put Notre Dame back in the lead. Unfortunately, that was all Notre Dame had in it. Ohio State scoring two more touchdowns then. And this one just wrapping up about 20 minutes ago. Ohio State with the win, 21 to 10 over Notre Dame. And now a quick look at a few other notable top 25 games today. Arkansas held on for a big win over the former CFP finalists in Cincinnati. Wolverines had a commanding win over Colorado State in the big house this afternoon, grabbing a 44 point dub there. And former OU head coach Lincoln Riley's first game in charge of USC went pretty well too. Caleb Williams throwing for over 249 yards and two TDs. Also, seventh-ranked Utah and Florida were also in a big game here this evening. The Gators getting a huge 29-26 upset in that one.